it's Emily again. So how's your fundraising going? Are you getting help from your friends and family? Working with a group of ambassadors? Keeping it simple? If you're having trouble hitting on the right projects, I have a few more tips and ideas for you. Keep in mind, if you haven't started, it's not too late. Check your community calendar. By taking part in a popular event, you can get the word out to tons of people in a short time. Here's some other great ideas. Something that our students did when fundraising was they utilized Facebook to fundraise. So in their status updates, many of our students would say how far away either they were from raising or how much more they needed to raise. Their friends, their families, attached themselves to the goal of wanting their student ambassador, their friend, to be able to travel. This year I have a student who fundraised her whole program tuition. And one of the things she did was write up sponsorship letters. Um, she sent it to everybody she knew, you know, teachers, family, friends, and also um, collected much of her tuition that way. For me, sending out a short video I produced with my sponsorship letter was huge. People felt like they knew me, and even people I'd never met before sent checks in the mail because they really wanted to help me reach my goal. Take a closer look at your own neighborhood, then talk with local business owners. You may uncover some great opportunities. The businesses in my town were so supportive. Some donated cash, others things I could sell. One organization even donated $1,000 because they knew my story. My kids came up with a great fundraising idea that they had heard about involving pink flamingos. And so we ordered two dozen pink flamingos online for under $100. And what my kids did was they split the list. They each came up with 12 friends or families that they know. We all piled in the car with these really tacky pink plastic flamingos and we drove around to all our friends' house and planted these pink flamingos in the front yards of their friends. And they had hung around their neck a little car, said this is from Brina and Devin, we're fundraising to go on a people to people trip and for $10, give us a call and for $10 we'll come and take this pink flamingo out of your yard. For $15, we will take this pink flamingo out and we'll give you insurance that it won't find its way back to your yard. And for $20, we will let you tell us that you want to put it on someone else's lawn. And this one, we thought it would all play out in a day. It actually took a week to play out before the last of the flamingos was back. And one of them actually went through four or five families. And I think from that one flamingo, the kids raised about $100 just from that one flamingo going from this family to that family to that family to that family. And I think all in all, the kids together brought in about $1,000 on that fundraiser and had a blast doing it. By doing something that you enjoy, you'll keep the fun in fundraising. Whether you love skateboarding, playing piano, cooking, or almost anything, your talent can make you money. Like budding artist Micah Laguerre from St. Peter's, Missouri. He created a unique fundraiser using his talents. A young man told us um, in an introduction at one of our meetings that he had an art show that was just closing that night. I went to see it and we started talking and he's like, I think I'll do my project on Aboriginal art. And I said, oh, what a great idea. He said, do you think people would buy um, note cards if I made them up into note cards? I said, I think they'll buy them and I think you'll make money on it. Elizabeth Lester from Dallas, Texas took a similar tact, making original bottle cap necklaces that were fun to make and easy to sell. There's a world of ways to reach your fundraising goal, and it's easy because your reward will be the journey of a lifetime with people to people. You know, sometimes I tell the students, uh, you know, there are some people that save for their entire lives and don't get to come to Greece, for example. And, you know, we've done Austria, Germany, Italy, Greece, and they've just saved their entire lives and finally get to visit Greece when they're 75 years old. And here they are at 15 or 16 and have visited four countries in three weeks. Never give up on your goal. Have confidence and you will raise the funds and see the world as a student ambassador. Do not be afraid. You have the power. Believe it and make it happen. I'm so excited for you. I'll be following your progress on the Pay Your Way blog and on your overseas adventure. See you later.